that's the height of the bench is so key guys when we're working max effort that if you forego that process you are putting yourself at a serious disadvantage hey guys coach ben here big benches uh, and today I want to talk about a lot of key takeout concepts. Now this portion of the bench press, this phase of the bench press gets overlooked way too often. All right, getting this bar from point A to point B to eventually where you take it out, you get set ready to bench, right? That's a very critical process. There's a lot that goes into it. It's, it, you, you can't just accept a low height. You can't accept the bench being too high. Uh, you need the bench specifically tailored to where your arm length is after your setup. Okay, that's the height of the bench is so key guys when we're working max effort that if you forego that process, you are putting yourself at a serious disadvantage. That is why I feel bad for those who bench in a commercial gym because there's not much you can do there. But besides add padding to the bench to prop your height up a little bit. Other than that, you're stuck with two hooks. All right, in a good competition bench, you have a great advantage as a lifter. Take advantage of it if you have this type of a setup where you can adjust the height. All right, and again, if you're stuck in a commercial space, add yoga mats, different thicknesses. It'll prop your height up. Um, so take out process. Where do we want the bar height to be? Well, we need our elbows bent under the bar. And I see time and time again, some lifters who start with their arms too extended. What's going to happen if your arms are too extended under the bar, let's just pretend, right, that I had my arms almost locked out. If I had to get up and over a lip, my shoulders are gonna pull up. To exaggerate it for you, if I'm already locked out here, right, and someone gives me a handoff, even if they're very careful not to lift me up too much, just by the nature of it, it's gonna pull my shoulders out of position. That is where the advantage comes in, guys. Watch my shoulders here, All right? If I'm already locked out and someone drags me up, watch how my shoulders will lift, All right? Even if I try to position them down after, I kind of already lost that connection with my back. Especially with max effort weight, it all counts. So when I'm under this weight, I want my elbows slightly bent and I want to think more like a tricep extension. The first thing you need to establish is a locked out position. Okay, so lock and drag is what I say. So we want to get our connection to the bar. You can see my elbow is slightly bent. I'm not trying to stay under the bar like this. My armpits are closed off. I'm going to think, boom, tricep extension into position. I want to get that lock and then I want to drag shoulder blades. All right, so three, two, one, I get my hand off. Boom, my first thing I want to do is establish a locked out position. Don't chase the bar. Just get your arms locked out while driving your shoulders down. And then from here, I'm using my shoulder blades, watch the shoulder movement now, to drag down. And I lock up my upper back, I'm tight. Okay, so I try to take my shoulder blade and I try to shove it down towards my hips. That puffs my chest up, that closes off my armpit more, turns my elbows in a bit, and I am tight in my back. This is hard for me to maintain right here. I'm shaking just trying to do it, all right? Now, you can see the bar wants to come out more when I change my, my uh, pivot point here. So if the bar is positioned over my shoulders, that's, that's where I'm gonna wanna hold it, All right? If I'm able to take my shoulder blade and drag it down the pad, I'm able to effectively get that bar out a little bit more. Then it's a closer straight drop to my touch point, as opposed to taking the bar here, leaving it in my shoulders, never locking down, and I can't, I have to travel at more of an angle, okay? As opposed to, again, locking down, and I can just straight drop, boom, fire back from there. So the important concept, guys, make sure you treat the takeout like a tricep extension. Stay tucked, boom, tricep. You have to lock first, drag out into position. You wanna, if you know where you're gonna touch the bar, your optimal touch point on the sternum, you want to try to get that bar as close to that point as possible. All right, that's where that's how far you want to drag the bar out. All right, so it's almost a straight drop down, just a slight angle, as opposed to having to travel way down. Okay, 
So uh, that is going to help you guys immensely, especially with the heavy weight. And if you happen to be an equipped lifter wearing a bench shirt, this is going to be the most important thing that you focus on, guarantee it. This is a concept that helped me add almost 100 pounds to my bench in about a five month period, all right? So this is gonna be a key, key concept. Focus on what's happening on the takeout process and make that work in your favor. Coach Ben here, and you know where to find me. You can meet me. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel over here. Check out the links in the description box below. You can see a video related on this topic right here. And then our latest video right there. Thanks for watching.